Greetings everybody, welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom, and so far I've been your host, Zero Yeti. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first animal of the week being Panthera Leo Melancholita, or Milano Shaita. Uh, better known as the East African Lion, the Southern Lion, the Southern African Lion, uh, or the East Southern African Lion, is a subspecies of lion native to Eastern and Southern Africa. Uh, here they prefer to inhabit grasslands and savannas, but are also known to inhabit woodlands, shrublands, scrublands, and montane forests. Uh, African lions are the most social of all wild felines, living in groups of related individuals and their offspring called prides, which number 3 to 30 females and 1 to 4 males. Uh, East African lions typically prey upon ungulates such as wildebeest, cape buffalo, eland, gimsbook, nyla, roan and sable antelope, warthogs, bush pigs, zebra, sesbi, or tesbi, waterbuck, kudu, heart beast, cob, and Thompson's gazelles. However, they are also known to prey upon other animals, from as small as common mice to as large as young or infirm African bush elephants. Lions are themselves occasionally preyed upon by other predators, such as wild dogs, hyenas, leopards, other lions, and crocodiles. Female East African lions average around 7.5 to 8.9 feet, or 2.3 to 2.7 meters in length, and around 183 to 370 pounds, or 83 to 168 kilograms in weight, while males average around 8.1 to 9.4 feet, or 2.47 to 2.84 meters in length, and around 321 to 496 pounds, or 145 to 225 kilograms in weight. However, lions as big as 11 feet, or 3.35 meters long, and 825 pounds, or 375 kilograms in weight, have been known to exist. Uh, this marks the lion as the second largest extant cat after the tiger. Uh, the lion is a muscular, broad-chested cat with a short, rounded head, reduced neck, and round ears. The fur varies in color from a light buff to a silvery gray, yellow, red, or darkish brown. Additionally, albino and leucistic individuals are not unheard of. Mature males typically sport long flowing manes, but may occasionally lack them. Additionally, females may occasionally grow manes as well. Breeding may occur year-round, with each mature female having their own estrus cycle. When in heat, she will breed with one or more partners. After a 110-day pregnancy, a mother lion will give birth to one to four cubs in a secluded den away from the rest of the pride. Uh, she will not rejoin the pride until her young are around six to eight weeks of age. East African lions reach sexual mature around two to four years of age, at which point the males are typically forcibly evicted from the pride, and females may choose to set off in search of another pride to join. An ideal condition is an East African lion may live up to 18 years. Next up is Bronta catenensis, better known as the Canada goose, the burnt black goose, or the Canadian goose. It is a species of geese in the waterfowl family Anitidae, uh, which is native to the Arctic and temperate regions of North America. It has been introduced to France, England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, New Zealand, Japan, Chile, Argentina, and the Falkland Islands. The Canadian goose is typically a social species that lives in large flocks, which during migration may exceed upwards of 1,000 birds in number. Uh, they live in and around water sources such as lagoons, brackish marshes, estuaries, rivers, lakes, swamps, and ponds. Uh, here they typically feed upon grasses, shrubs, fruit, flowers, seeds, beans, grains, and various aquatic plants such as seaweed. Canadian geese are preyed upon by coyotes, wolves, bears, feral dogs, alligators, snapping turtles, wolverines, large owls, eagles, goshawks, peregrine falcons, and gray falcons. Region around 30 to 43 inches, or 75 to 110 centimeters in length, and 5 to 24 pounds, or 2.4 to 10.9 kilograms in weight, with a 50 to 88 inch, or 127 to 225 centimeter long wingspan. Excuse me. The Canadian goose is the largest of the true geese. Canadian geese sport a long neck, webbed hind feet, and a broad body. In terms of coloration, they are typically 
uh, have a black head and neck, white cheeks, white under the chin, and a brown body. However, some sport a pepper spotted or brown neck with brown plumage. These birds often form long-lasting monogamous pairs, only finding another partner when the current one passes away. Breeding typically occurs in spring and summer, during which time a pair will build a nest out of earth, plant material, and feathers in an elevated area near water. Uh, here, a female will lay two to nine eggs, which are then incubated until hatching, some 24 to 32 days later. As soon as the goslings hatch, they are immediately capable of walking, swimming, and finding their own food, yet remain by their parents' side until they are over a year of age. Uh, sometimes groups of Canadian geese will collaboratively raise their young in a creche. The young learn how to fly at around six to nine weeks of age, reach sexual mature around two years, and may live up to 40. And next we have is, sorry if you can hear my washing machine and dryer in the background, uh, Mormolice phyllodes more commonly known as the violin beetle, is a species of ground beetle in the subfamily Lebanai, uh, which is named to the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia, including the countries of Brunei, Indonesia, Java, Malaysia, and Sumatra. Uh, these typically nocturnal insects spend much of their time living in cracks in the soil, leaf litter, and inside rotting logs or underneath tree bark. Here they primarily feed upon other insects, particularly grubs and larvae. Violin beetles are themselves preyed upon by several species of bats and birds. Because of this, in addition to their camouflage, they also secrete poisonous butric acid, which they use for defense purposes. Reaching around 2.4 to 3.9 inches, or 6.1 to 9.91 centimeters in length, these beetles possess an elongated head and pronotum, slender legs, and large antennae. The body is flat and leaf-shaped, typically black or brown in coloration, with a distinctive violin shape, translucent elytra, hence their common name, the violin beetle. Their breeding habits are not well known, but they tend to lay their eggs inside of large hard bracket fungi. Upon hatching, the larvae spend up to nine months digging tunnels through the fungus, feeding upon both the fungus and any invertebrate they come across. When they pupate, they then pupate and exit their fungi home. On average, a violin beetle will spend three to five months in their adult form before passing away. Next up is the Navajo churro, also known as the churro, the American or the Navajo four-horned, is a breed of domestic sheep originating from with the Spanish churro sheep obtained by the Diné Navajo tribe in the 16th century A.D. Over the following centuries, the Navajo bred the sheep to adapt to a pastoral lifestyle in the harsh deserts and badlands of the American Southwest, creating a hardy and disease-resistant breed which is well known for its fine wool and lean but, de lean but delicious meat. The churro became a vital part of Navajo substance and culture when the U.S. military forced the entire Navajo nation to march uh, to a reservation in 1864, they also called the vast majority of the nation's livestock, including thousands upon thousands of churro sheep. A few herds managed to survive either by being taken with the tribe or having fled to a remote to remote canyons where they became feral. Uh, as part of the Treaty of Bosque Redondo. In 1868, the Navajo were allowed to return to their homeland. In addition, they were given large quantities of livestock to replace what was slaughtered, which included many western varieties of sheep. Unfortunately, these interbred with the few remaining churro populations and overall contaminated the line. Then in the 1930s, the U.S. government implemented the Navajo Livestock Reduction Act, in which they again slaughtered a large number of the Navajo Nation's livestock. Uh including tens of thousands of sheep. It is estimated at this point only 450 Navajo churro sheep remained. In the 1970s, the Navajo Sheep Project was launched in an effort to preserve the breed and revitalize Navajo churro uh, and Hispanic sheep farming. This was somewhat successful and today over 8,000 Navajo churro sheep exist. Uh, with females reaching around 90 to 130 pounds or 40 to 60 kilograms in weight, and males reaching roughly 120 to 185 pounds, or 55 to 85 kilograms, 
The Navajo Churro is a smaller sheep with long, thin tails, horizontal ears, narrow body, long legs, and a double coat. Most rams have horns, either two or four, but may occasionally have none. Additionally, while ewes typically lack horns, females with horns are not uncommon. Churros come in a variety of colors, including reds, browns, blacks, whites, and mixes. The color may change with age, and they may have different color patterns, such as ones with piebald patterning or eye patches or hip spots. Mothers typically give birth to twins, and under ideal conditions, the Navajo Churro may live upwards of 15 years. Next up, we have uh, Ostronotus ocellatus, better known as the Tiger Oscar, the Velvet Cichlid, the Marble Cichlid, or simply the Oscar. It is a species of fish in the cichlid family, Cichliidae, which is native to the warm tropical slow-moving rivers, creeks, and lakes of Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname, Peru, and Venezuela. They have also been introduced to China, Australia, and the U.S. state of Florida. They are a territorial species which simply creates a home base in a radius around a series of rocks or submerged branches, uh, which they will vigorously defend by chasing away other fish. Oscars are omnivorous animals which use a suction mechanism to capture prey, feeding upon worms, crustaceans, snails, insects, and their larvae, smaller fish, and fruits and nuts. Oscars are themselves eaten by larger fish, turtles, crocodilians, snakes, certain birds, and various mammals such as otters, cats, and freshwater dolphins. Reach around 18 inches or 45 centimeters in length and around 3.5 pounds or 1.6 kilograms in weight. The Oscar is a stoutly built fish, which is typically darkly colored with yellow ringed spots or ocelli on the caudal, pinnacle, and dorsal fins. Albino, leucistic, melanistic, and xanthic individuals are also very common. Most juvenile Oscars have a different coloration from adults and are striped with white and orange wavy bands and have spots on their heads. An Oscar is also able to rapidly alter the shades of its coloration, which it uses in tutorial and mating displays. Breeding occurs during heavy rains, and during such time a female will lay her eggs on a flat rock or cleared out space substrate. Uh, once the male fertilizes the eggs, they both aggressively guard their brood against would-be predators until the young hatch into fry and spread out on their own. Under ideal conditions, an Oscar will reach sexual maturity around one to one and a half years of age and may live up to 20. Next up is Corvus ruficolis, better known as the brown necked raven, the brown necked crow, the des or the desert raven. It is a species of corvid native to North Africa and the Middle East, from as far west as the Cape Verde Islands to as far east as India, and as far north as Kazakhstan to as far south as Kenya. Here they inhabit coastlines, deserts, dry forests, savannas, and scrublands. These, so these, so uh, these social birds tend to travel in flocks of, of three to upwards of 15 members, occasionally joining with members of other species, such as the pied crow or thick-billed raven. They feed primarily upon grain, seeds, fruits, insects, carrion, and small vertebrates. In fact, these ravens regularly work together to hunt lizards, snakes, fish, rodents, and even younger and firm sheep, goats, and gazelles. Reaching some 20 to 22 inches or 52 to 56 centimeters in length, brown-necked ravens are larger than carrion, small, and pied crows, but smaller than common white-necked and thick-billed ravens. The head and throat are distinct with a brownish-black giving the bird its common name. While the rest of the plumage is usually a black glossed with purple, blue, or purplish blue coloration. The voice is very similar to the common ravens, consisting of many croaks, throw higher in pitch and harsh. Uh, they have a car, car, car call, and in flight they will utter a kirk, kirk call. Like all corvids, the brown necked raven is capable of vocal mim mimicry. The breeding season also varies depending on the local rainy season. Pairs typically mate for life and build nests up in trees, cliffs, or atop buildings. Here a mother will lay three to five eggs, which are then incubated in shifts for 20 to 22 days until hatching. 
The young will fledge after 38 days, and under due conditions, a brown necked raven may live upwards of 30 years. And our extinct animal week is Campanelli or Gigantium, or is it Campanelli? Gigantium is a now extinct species. Sti- uh, is a now extinct species of exceptionally large sea snail, which lives throughout much of the world's oceans, particularly the Tethys Sea, from the Euprasian to the Bartonian of the Eocene, some 56 to 38 million years ago. The first remains, consisting of a near-complete shell, were named and described by French naturalist Jean Baptiste Pierre Antoine de Monet Chevalier de Lamarck is a long name, in 1804. Since then, hundreds of Capanelli uh, gigantium remains have been recovered from Spain, England, Croatia, Turkey, Egypt, Pakistan, and in particular the Paris Basin region of France, especially Cave Oc Coliagas, or the Cave of Shells. Campanelli gigantium, or Campanelli, is primarily known from its distinctive elongated conical shell, of which intact specimens range from 16 to 35 inches long, or 40 to 90 centimeters, with some partial specimens indicating they may have gotten upwards of 47 inches, or 120 centimeters in length. Not even factoring in the soft tissue body, these shells alone mark Campanelli gigantium amongst the largest shelled gastropods to ever live. In life, a Campanelli gigantium would have inhabited shallow seas and warm coastal waters, feeding upon algae, seaweed, and other aquatic plants. As always, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals. Have a wonderful day.